Guys, it has been cold and wet and rainy in Ohio for the past three days. We have been stuck in this fifth wheel. Yeah, it needs to dry out so we can get outside because we're losing our minds. Hey guys, today I want to share with you what I consider to be essential gear for full-time RV traveling for a family of four. Let's start right here. These are zero gravity chairs. I think that's like the generic term for them. Uh, they're amazing. I don't know who makes them. I think we spent 30 or 40 dollars a piece on them and they are the most relaxing folding chair you can find. They're not super small, they're not super compact, but they are super, super comfortable. I love them. This next item is the Berkey water filtration system. This is the big Berkey model. They've got all different sizes, but this one they say is suitable for four to 16 people. Uh, it's got a two gallon reservoir at the bottom, so it can hold two gallons of purified water. And I say purified because the filters are such high quality that this can actually be classified as purified water. This is popular with a lot of preppers. Um, we use it for everyday drinking water because the drinking water at campgrounds is notoriously bad. Uh, just from old plumbing and um, just in some of the areas that it's in. For instance, we're in Michigan right now, which has one of the nation's worst drinking water systems. Uh, so we've got this with us. We use it all the time, um, but it comes with two black charcoal filters and we have two uh, fluoride filters in there. The charcoal filters are good for up to 6,000 gallons of water. Um, and it, that's the average, depending on the quality of water you put in it. We actually have a, uh, a water filter, inline water filter we use from the, from the water coming into the RV and that water gets put into this. Um, so it can reduce up to 95% of the fluoride added to drinking water. Again, Michigan is rated as having some of the highest fluoride content in their water. Uh, but it also removes heavy metals, arsenic. Uh, I do recommend that you get this stand with it. Um, and also there's something that's really cool they have that's like a, a viewing glass for you can see the, the level that's inside. This thing is awesome. You can actually scoop up runoff water and put it in there and it will come out crystal clear, crystal clean. This thing right next to it is a Himalayan salt lamp. I don't really know why we have it. I don't know how it works. But Christian really likes it, so we have it in here. When you're RVing, you'll come across all kinds of different uh, setups as far as your campsites go. Uh, we plug into 50 amp power. Uh, I like to do that by relying on this uh, circuit analyzer slash surge protector. I think Camco makes it, uh, but it's, a, it's set up for 50 amp. And what it does is it will analyze the wiring. It's got a little uh, uh, key right here and some lights up here that will tell you if you have the correct wiring. Uh, there's a lot of stories of people plugging into these systems and the frame of their RV being energized, creating a shock hazard uh, to where you know you can be the ground between uh, the ground and all the electric going through your your RV. Uh, kind of scary stuff. I really like having this to plug into first and analyze. Uh, the, uh, the grid system here because a lot of these campgrounds are old, a lot of bad wiring, a lot of shade tree electricians um, kind of handling the jobs here. So I really, really like having this as kind of a, uh, an insurance plan. It's also a surge protector for up to 4,200 joules, um, which should protect uh, kind of the sensitive electronics we have in there. Uh, we got this uh, patio furniture set from Ikea. Uh, it's kind of heavy, it's kind of awkward folding up, not one of the items I would recommend. 
what I would recommend is this Bose SoundLink uh, Bluetooth speaker. I don't know any of the specs on it. It's teal, but it puts out a lot of sound. I really, really like it because the onboard speaker system in this fifth wheel is just kind of junk. Uh, the sound's really tinny. Uh, this puts out a lot of good, good sound, good bass. So I'd recommend this. He likes the color. A must-have in our RV is our diffuser, um, specifically by Young Living. Uh, we love having quality air. And in RVs, you have to be very mindful of that. They have a lot of toxic chemicals, lots of VOCs. So we cleanse the air using our diffuser, which allows aromatherapy to take place in 400 square feet. We love the Thieves Blend. It's great at cleansing the air. Um, it'll also help you know, support our immune system. We also love diffusing peace and calming because when you live in 400 square feet of space and you need your kids to go to sleep, sometimes you gotta pull an oil out for that. We also love rose oil because it absolutely sets the mood and it gives us great ambiance and it smells great. Energetically, it also helps us get a lot of stuff done. This thing, not just great for RVs, but for everyday people homes too. Yep. This is our dehumidifier. Uh, it's a higher brand, H-A-I-E-R. Uh, it's a 45 pint uh, dehumidifier, meaning it will remove up to 45 pints of water uh, per 24 hours, I believe. Uh, this thing is used every day. It will fill up this reservoir. I don't know how, it must be a 45 point reservoir. There's water in it right now. It will fill that thing up and auto shut off. Um, our Dyson cordless vacuum. I don't know what the model name is. They name their vacuums weird things like animal. Whatever it is, it works great. Uh, one charge will last the whole RV. Kids tracking around dirt and everything. Um, it's got the roller attachment and a little brush head attachment and this charging dock uh, that we have command strip, command 3M command strip to the wall. Um, plugs the outlets right below, so it plugs in, charges. It's ready when we need it. It's great. It would not be a complete gear guide video without talking about a few of my favorite kitchen necessities. Uh, first up we have the Instant Pot. The Instant Pot is awesome. I love it for a few different reasons, but the top three reasons is number one, it does not heat up your kitchen, which when you're you know, residing in 400 square feet of space could easily happen. The second thing I love about it is that it's incredibly versatile. Um, I can cook anything from you know, soups to um, you know, stews to meatloafs and you name it. I mean, it's just a very versatile um, kitchen utensil. It takes the place of a rice cooker, it takes the place of a yogurt maker, it takes the place of a pressure cooker and a crock pot. So this is incredible. Uh, my second must have is my iron skillet. Um, these are the three items that I have in the kitchen, my instant pot, my iron skillet, and then just one stainless steel stock pot. That's it. I don't have a whole lot of um, pots and pans because that takes up space and they weigh a lot. Um, so one solid iron skillet, one stock pot, one instant pot, and we're all good. Cordless tool set. I am really liking my Ryobi OnePlus uh, lithium 18 volt set. Um, I shed some of like the non-essential stuff, like the flashlight. I don't know why they give you a free flashlight with every kit. It's not like I need a giant lantern flashlight for anything. But got the drill driver, jigsaw, uh, sawzaw. Why do you need a sawzaw? Harvesting firewood. Um, brad nailer. Why do you need a brad nailer in an RV? All this trim, the decorative trim comes off. Easy to put back. Quick fix. Tire inflator, really, really important uh, for monitoring and refilling uh, tire pressures on the road. That is critical for safety uh, when you're traveling in a big rig fifth wheel. The number of blowouts and the damage they 
cause to people's rigs is just unreal. You gotta keep track of your tire pressures. Uh, between this, the toilets in our fifth wheel, and uh, the auxiliary diesel fuel tank we carry in the back of the pickup, uh, you basically have your own service station. Pull over, kids can go to the bathroom, check your tire pressures, and uh, refuel the truck. This auxiliary fuel tank, uh, or I guess transfer tank, is amazing. It might be my favorite purchase. Uh, it's 74 additional gallons on top of our 31 on board the Dodge Ram uh, pickup that we have. It's got a storage uh, uh, compartment, but it's kind of like an L-shaped, I don't know if you can see it underneath there, an L-shaped uh, fuel tank uh, with a fuel pump that I can connect to the battery. Uh, I have not had to pull into a uh, diesel station once with the fifth wheel connected because we're able to make it point to point with plenty of fuel left over uh, when we fill up this and the ramp. Also, when I find a really good deal on diesel or we get one of the, uh, get one of the members discounts uh, at like a grocery store chain, we can fill up there uh, at a good price. I, it's been almost a dollar difference in some places per gallon. Command strips. Uh, I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory, but uh, command strips are everything in here. Uh, if it wasn't installed by the manufacturer, it's being held up by command strips. Clear sewer elbows. Sorry for the bad lighting, but this is critically important if you want to know if you've got a clean black tank or not. Got to rinse it out. Got to keep that poo out of the way. The only way you're going to know if it's clean is if you can see clean water coming out of the black tank. Sewer hose support. Gravity is an essential part of getting your poo to go down that hole over there. Uh, this helps gradually lower the height of your sewer hose so that everything flows that way. Really important. There you have it guys. That's our essential gear list for full-time RV travel for a family of four. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and share, but more importantly, subscribe. You know, with kids, I find there's not a whole lot of time to take some time for yourself. Uh, so. Christian and the kids are going to the zoo today with our good friends and their kids. Uh, so I'm taking some time for myself. I'm gonna head out on this river. It's the Grand River right next to our campground. And uh, enjoy some peace and quiet. We're off. Oh, how awesome is this?